So I'm with one of the greats of the Melbourne cycling scene and more importantly the hill ride. We've just done a little piece on this magnificent kit that he's wearing today. Leo, I also wanted to know about this bang bang thing. What's this? What's the bang bang? Can you tell well, us about that? I was on the Noosa bunch ride today, thought I'd give him a couple, but it was like fireworks. Everyone was just going bang, 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 bang. It was bangs everywhere. It was like sugar. So, uh, and it was a tough ride. Such a good loop out here in Noosa and such a great bunch of guys. Can you show us what a bang looks like? I will in a sec, but old mate here, he'll be in the, we're going up this climb, he'll be in the 5511. 5511, the whole bunchy today. Oh, you What's know. What's the theory behind that? Oh, look, the uh, consensus has been to go to compacts. I thought I'd just try it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, the SRAM TT ring looks magic on the bike. We'll just relive the Noosa, the World Champs Day final. Toby was uh, directing me where to go because I had no idea what was going on. And we're coming up, what road was it, Tobe? Uh, Sunrise Road. Sunrise Road, and I was just worried I was going to get dropped, and he says, uh, the sprints to the letterbox, and he yells, go. So I'm thinking, he wants me to um, lead him out. I don't want to, I'm a visitor, I'm a guest. I've got to, you know, do what he says, so I did. <laughs> but he, um, a couple went away, and then I just went, BOOM! <laughs> Chase. Got across to one guy, dropped off. There was one more at the line. I was nearly all out of petrol tickets, but uh, bang! <laughs> walk to the line. <laughs> bang! <laughs> bang! <laughs> bang! <laughs> bang! <laughs> bang! Oh, he did it. You want to win? <laughs> oh, it's up there with me. Hell ride win in the 87 North Road. <laughs> So Lee, last time we met you had 170 kids. How many have you got now? Oh, over 250, mate. They're 250? growing, they're growing oh. 250. The goal is 365, <laughs> one for every day of the year, but they're 250, but I've, uh, it's slowed down a bit because I've sort of, there's nothing really I'm chasing or hunting at the moment. A few little bits and pieces, but I've sort of got most of what I want. Yeah, and tell us about this kit here. This is your rarest, yeah? What yeah, you... this this is probably the rarest. This has got a, this is one of the hardest to get. It took me years to get, because this is a Mario Cipollini, uh, Cipollini uh, muscle skin suit that he wore in the Giro. His was a long, long sleeve, long leg one, but this is the one I wanted for years and years and years, and I just could not get. I had it saved on an eBay search for years, and it's funny how I ended up coming coming to get it. Was it was uh, I just put a tweet on um, Twitter one day. This is a missing piece in the collection, a picture of it, and thought nothing nothing of it. And then like two months later, someone sent me a direct message and said, "Are you still after that kit?" And I wrote back and said, "Oh, yeah, I am." He goes, "I've I've got it. I'd, I'd be willing to sell it." And I'm thinking, "Oh, okay." send me a picture and he sends me a picture with the tags on it brand new and I'm thinking oh great what size it was like a medium large which is my size I mean oh, this is too good to be true and I said oh how much do you want for it this is all via message because he was from overseas and I think he wanted a, a thousand bucks and then I thought oh that's a lot so I said 500 then we ended up negotiating to I think about 800 plus delivery <laughs> and then um, I was a bit nervous and he about you know could this be I'd be ripped off I thought I'll take the chance he seemed pretty legit so I sent across the 800 plus um, delivery money and he said he'll send it and two weeks later it turned up in the mail and Look at it. Yeah. The rest is history. The rare Cipollini skin suit. So what sort of reaction do you get in the bunch when you're wearing this? Uh, well, I only sort of uh, wear it the odd race because it's a skin suit. I yeah. don't really wear it in bunch rides. Except Maybe this morning in 6 this, degrees. Uh, <laughs> in Noosa this morning I wore it. The Noosa guys were great. They didn't think twice about it. Look, give me any grief about it. They're really good. Really good bunch up here in Noosa. Lovely guys. You won the kick, I hear. 
Oh, just <laughs> had to throw for the line. I think they were just being nice to let me. But uh, no, it was a great bunch. Such a good bunch of guys. Good uh, com cycling community up here. Really good guys. And what a beautiful spot to ride. Absolutely. Like middle of winter, I was by the pool all day yesterday and had a swim. Like it is so good here in Noosa. It really is paradise. But. Um, yeah, so this when I wore it like out at the crits, everyone's like, whoa, because they don't know where to look because it yeah. looks, even at the cafe, then the a girl said, oh, I don't, I don't know about that kit. She's like, oh, that would be good to teach anatomy on because <laughs> it sort of shows everything. So, but yeah, no, it's a, just another another one to the collection. So out of your 250 though, this would be the rarest? Uh, yeah, I've also got the Cipollini tiger skin suit, right. which is really rare, rare as well. Yeah. And that one was... Um, I got that for dirt. I would have paid a thousand bucks for that. Obviously, whoever had it had no idea. It was just on eBay, and I got it for like thirty bucks. Like, yeah. that's the thing with eBay. You can pay, you know, eight hundred or whatever for something, or you can get something so cheap because the person doesn't know the value of it. So, yeah. yeah. And tell us about this bike as well. We got next to you. Are we getting a new one? Soon? Yeah, a new one. This is my uh, Dumoulin one, the pink one. Yeah. But I've got a new GVA gold one being built as we speak. With Very nice. Gold SRM for it and the one piece bars with gold decals. So I can't wait to get that new giant TCR next week. Yeah. All right, mate. I'll let you get back out in the sun. All right, beautiful. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> See you, boys. Which kit? This kit? Yeah, yeah the kit behind you here. Uh, from the back, it's a little bit uh, frightening. <laughs> I've never seen more ladies look in our direction than <laughs> when this guy's been near us with that kit on, which yeah. is a good thing. It is a good thing. <laughs> what about you, Toby? What do you reckon, mate? Oh, look, really good. We went out for a ride this morning and he, 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 he did it justice. He, 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 he took it to the line. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw every muscle fiber flexing, tearing, cramping. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Shall we go for a ride? Let's go.